Okay guys, so here we are. It is Christmas day and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Play Store on your new Amazon Kindle Fire 7 tablet. Now these tablets usually go on sale around the holidays and around Black Friday. I picked this one up on Black Friday for $30. There's an unboxing on my channel if you want to go check it out. But uh, these tablets, they come with the Amazon App Store, but it's not really that much usefulness. There's not like YouTube. You have to use YouTube through the internet. Um, there's Netflix, but there's no YouTube, and YouTube's one of the big things I use. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Google Play Store um, so that you can install like every app that you know is on the Google Play Store, um, and it works really well. So you can just click on Google Play Store, and then boom, just like that, you've got uh, full access to the Google Play Store. So I'm gonna be um, resetting this tablet uh, just to show you exactly what it would be like if you had just got this tablet out of the box. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've reset the tablet to factory settings um, just to go ahead and simplify it, um, just to show you that it actually works. So it's just gonna be coming straight, like out of the box state, nothing, no funny business going on. Um, I am gonna skip the setup though, just to save time in this video. Um, and so then we will go ahead now that we're on the home screen and I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi, which is easy enough once it loads. It's a little bit of a slower tablet, but uh, I'm just gonna go to settings, connect to Wi-Fi. There we go. So now that we're connected to Wi-Fi, we can uh, go home and don't worry about this little thing. It's just requesting permission for the contacts app to work. Um, it's nothing at all. So just like that, we're on the home menu. We've got Wi-Fi. So now we're gonna wanna head over to a web browser, like Silk web browser. It's just the pre-installed one. It, uh, it'll work fine for this video. Um, you just need to be able to access YouTube to get to the description of this video. So you're just gonna wanna head over to youtube.com And then you're gonna to wanna to go up and search for this channel's name, Random Technology. Random Technology. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the description of this video that you're watching, not that video. I just put the links in that video just because this video, of course, isn't on YouTube yet. So now that we're in the description of this video, you're gonna see the four links right here. Um, now, they'll be a little bit more organized than this. I just did it like this, just for this video, just to be able to show you uh, kind of what's going on. So, um, you're gonna to wanna to download these in this exact order, but before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to go home and you're gonna to wanna to go to settings and you're gonna to wanna to go down to um, security and privacy. And then right here, apps from unknown sources, you're gonna to wanna to turn that on and then just hit okay. That's gonna allow us to sideload the Play Store from the apps that we're gonna download from this YouTube video. So you're just gonna to wanna to click on the first one and then it's gonna bring you to this website. Don't mess with anything, just go down here and hit download APK and then it'll take a minute, but it will take you to the download page. Um, sometimes it's a little bit slow, but it'll take you to the download page and say your download is starting, and then it will pop up with a thing saying that it needs to download files. You're just gonna hit okay, and then Silk Browser needs to access your device to install the files. So there you go. This type of file can harm the device. Just hit okay to download, and then just like that, it's downloaded. So then you wanna get and click open and then that will open the installer. And then this is for the first one, the Google Account Manager. And it's very crucial that you install these in the order listed in the description because it kind of like, they build onto each other as they're being installed. So just like that, number one was installed. So now we can go close that tab. And we can go to the second one. So there's the second one, Google Services Framework. Uh, just scroll down here and hit Download APK and then it will take us to the download page. Now it won't ask you all that stuff again because you already did all that stuff. So it'll just say your download is starting and then it should pop up a little thing saying that this type of file can harm your device. And then you're just gonna wanna hit okay. 
and then just like that we're downloaded so you're gonna hit open again it will come up with Google services framework hit install it will go ahead and install it um, these usually don't take that long as you can see because this is a decent tablet you know it's not like the old fires where they're kind of slow so now you're gonna want to go download the third one um, same process it's uh, it's really pretty simple just scroll down to uh, download APK and uh, then it will download and we will be off to the races okay downloads gonna hit open again starting up Google Play Services and then we're gonna hit install go ahead and install that this one takes a little bit longer this is kind of like the other half of the Play Store kind of this is what allows the Android apps to be able to run on the hardware it's basically kind of like an adaptive layer it's pretty pretty fancy so there we go installed gonna hit done we'll just take us back there close that tab go to the fourth link which is the actual Google Play Store itself and we are gonna scroll down we're gonna hit download APK and try not to click on an ad there we go so your download is starting just a matter of waiting so there it is gonna hit OK and then we're gonna hit open so now we're gonna hit install same process as all the other four it's really pretty easy so there we go installing the Play Store and then once this is installed you can literally just hit open and it will open right up so just hit open and boom just like that you're gonna have the Play Store I do recommend restarting your device but you don't necessarily have to as you can see it works right here um, you just hit sign in and it should take you to the sign in page um, just checks your info which it does that on a normal Android device um, so that's no problems and uh, after a second it should pop up saying that uh, we need to sign in and then just like that you can just go through sign in with your normal Google account and you should be able to download any of the apps on the Play Store that are supported on this device so it's really pretty simple um, but I hope this can help so just like that this is a notification saying that Google Play Protect is turned on which is a good feature to have uh, and update Google Play services so once you're signed in you're gonna want to go ahead click on that notification that I just cleared to update the Google Play services um, and make sure that everything's working but just like that it's a pretty quick process and just like that boom Google Play Store on this uh, $50 tablet um, it's an awesome little tablet it can run most of the apps from the Play Store uh, and it's pretty awesome you know it's just a quick little tablet nice and affordable so hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful